the Joe Rogan experience. You know what's wild is that sometimes when that shit, you know, it basically freezes into like a brick. Mm -hmm. And sometimes like people have been hit by it. They just drop it? I don't know how they dispose of it normally, mm. but I know that like people's houses have been hit by shit bricks. But they get a nice little payout, huh? I would hope you get a good payoff if frozen <laughs> shit from 250 passengers falls yeah. from the sky and hits your fucking house. You just have a neck brace. Oh you my know. god! Uh, yeah. A frozen piece of shit from a Delta flight rocked me, but I got I got the money I deserve. How do they normally get rid of that stuff, Jamie? I'm looking. They probably I would imagine they pump have, it when they land or something. I would something. imagine that's how they do it now. Yeah. But I do know that there's at least one story that I read about a, well, a house that got hit with a rock of shit. <laughs> <laughs> like it just, oh, like it might have been some irresponsible roof. fucking cargo plane. They like <laughs> they, they Dave Matthews did it. You remember that story when they dropped a bunch of shit like from the tour bus and it landed on some people? The Dave Matthews really? tour bus. Yeah, they, got, they got in trouble for that, yeah. They yeah. dumped <laughs> shit from their tour bus? I don't think Dave, Dave Matthews greenlit it, but whoever was riding it was them. over the Chicago River, I think. Uh-oh. Like they emptied the bilge tube and it just like, I might even got on people that were one of those boats that went underneath it. I'll what an honor that. though, Dave Matthews shit drenching you. Like if you're a huge fan, bro, how that, cool. I hope that guy got fired. That's the crazy roadie that gets some pills. <laughs> <laughs> I, He's yeah. like, I ain't going to the fucking <laughs> dump. Okay, I'm Chicago? getting rid of that shit right here in the river, bro. There's a plaque there. Here you go. The pro- so that's plaque. where it happened. It, it, it shows it. The afternoon of August 8th, 2004, at this very location, the Dave Matthews Band tour bus emptied the septic tank yeah. over the Chicago River. Drenching passengers <laughs> on a boat. Drenching passengers on a boat tour with 800 pounds of human poop. No one died that day, but many <laughs> wish they had. There you go. Wow. That's so much poop. The poop falling from the sky thing here is interesting. Well, so, that, but hold on. Oh, but just that right, one that's right. real. <laughs> I've right. been on that boat tour. Could you imagine you just open the pipe over the water on yeah. a bridge? Well, just bad timing. On people's? What if those people weren't there? Would they have gotten away with Did it? Did he even check? That's a good point. How do you not know? How do you not know? There's not a boat filled with a tour of people. Because it's an archi- it's, it's an architectural tour. You're you're taking in all these wonderful oh, buildings. You get drenched with <laughs> shit yeah. from the sky. Do you think you feel better when you find out it's Dave Matthews though? Because you just think it's a rando shit. Well, you think you're getting paid. That's a good point. How did that go down? There had to be a lawsuit, right? The, oh, I thought I had something. The they screen. go. You can come to uh, a concert. He got eight. 18 months of probation, 150 hours community service. Stefan Wool, bro. $10,000 fine, which and is paid to the Friends that's, that's of Chicago nothing. River. That's it. I would do it again for that price. They were not on the ba- bus. The the <laughs> bus, which is reportedly being used by the band violinist Boy Tinsley, was not occupied at the time of the incident. The Dave Matthews Band eventually agreed to pay $200,000 to settle a lawsuit filed by State Attorney General Lisa Madigan. Wool never drove a bus for the <laughs> band again. <laughs> I almost feel like we're watching a movie, a ma- yeah, and it's exactly. like the end of the text. Exactly. It's like, Wool never drove a it's bus like stand again. Stand by me. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then you see the credits after that. Someone exactly. please do a biopic on this bus driver. Bro, imagine if they didn't fire him. Imagine they're like, hey, people make mistakes. Yeah. You got good pills, yeah, though. Yeah. <laughs>